Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson, and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for SkillOfAttraction.com. And today's attraction tips video is called Over Texting Ruins Attraction. Now, I know this is going to be a difficult one for a lot of you, especially you younger guys. And I know I'm going to hear the excuse, well, this is just the way people communicate these days. But the truth is, it doesn't matter if you're texting, making phone calls, or using Morris code to communicate. Over text or over communication on any device is going to eventually ruin attraction, especially if you, as a man, are the one doing a majority of the initiating. So in this attraction tips video, I'm going to be discussing how over texting ruins attraction and what you can do to limit your texting in order to maintain attraction. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. All you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab and shoot me a message from there. All I ask is that your questions and messages to me just be rather short and to the point, one to two paragraphs max. Otherwise, I'm just not going to have time to get through it. But I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do have to take care of my paying clients first, but if you're just a little patient, I usually get back to you within a couple of days. But if you need to get in touch with me right away and you want to dive deeper into your situation, the best way to do that is, again, head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the coaching tab and there you'll see I have several options for you to choose from. I now offer a couple of emergency email coaching packages. I offer biweekly and monthly coaching as well where I work with you throughout that time period. And I've recently added phone coaching to these options. So, and if you guys have any questions about my coaching services, please feel free to shoot me a message and ask away. And just so you know, I will have a, uh, a link to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. Now there's good things about texting and there's bad things about texting. One of the good things is that you could put some thought into what you're going to say before you actually say it, as opposed to just shooting from the hip like you would do in a normal face-to-face -face conversation. Another good thing about texting is I explained it a bit in my video, how to up your text game. And you could easily create a fun and playful experience through texting, only making yourself more attractive. The bad part about texting is if you say something stupid that upsets her or turns her off, it's on her phone forever. And she could refer back to it anytime she wants, looking back on all the stupid things you said and, and how it made her feel in that moment, which will end up making her feel like that all over again. The other bad part about texting is that if it's too much, you're essentially killing the mystery. Women love mystery and men, and if you're in constant contact with her by text or really through any means, you're basically filling in all the blanks for her without you even really realizing it. She knows everything that you're up to, everything that happens to you throughout your day. And if you're so quick to respond to her like so many of you guys do, she intuitively knows that you're just a little too into her. And I've explained this in my videos and my articles in the past that studies have shown that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. It's all part of the mystery and the anticipation that she loves so much. It's exciting. And she wants to unravel you. It's kind of like a, a, get, a wrapped gift that she's slowly opening, you know, one corner here, one corner there, and slowly learning and and you being revealed to her. And this is what makes things so exciting for her. But when she knows everything about you or you're always telling her everything about you without her you know, diving in deeper or asking you about it, she has really little reason to see you face to face. Women are actually more satisfied by the attention that she can command from you. She doesn't need to sleep with you or make out with you or touch you or kiss you in order to feel fulfilled like it is with us guys. 
And another way men kill the mystery and the attraction is by always initiating contact with her. Now, whether you realize it or not, this is a bit on the needy side. It's subtle neediness, but it's still needy. You're basically putting in extra effort to reassure her and keep things afloat. And again, this communicates that you're really into her. Plus, on a more subtle level, it communicates that you don't have the confidence in the fact that she likes you. Essentially, you're communicating that it's you that needs reassurance. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, there's nothing wrong with her knowing that you like her or that you showing that you like her. You just don't want to be so obvious about it. Like I said, she likes that mystery. She wants to unravel this part about you. She instinctively knows that you at least kind of like her just by you asking her out on dates and flirting with her and touching her and kissing her. But you still need to keep a little bit of mystery about you, especially if you just begun dating but also throughout the entire relationship. So as far as texting goes, you do this by letting her reach out to you or initiate contact with you a majority of the time. And when she does, you basically just want to keep the conversation short and sweet. You still want to be fun and charming and playful with a little banter, but then you just want to get straight to the point. You just want to tell her that you want to see her and ask her when she's free. And when you arrange a date, then you just kind of back off and save the rest of your conversation for a date. And this kind of works like show business. It's going to leave her wanting more. I mean, think about like a, a TV program, a weekly TV program. At the end, there will be some unanswered questions. So you end up tuning in the next week to see what happens. And it's very similar. I mean, this is just human psychology. You have to tie up loose ends. You have to find out what's going to happen next. And this will have the same effect on her. I mean, she's going to be really excited to see you. And after you've been on a few dates, she's not going to want to wait to talk to you. She's going to want to reach out to you and connect with you. So basically, you just want to let her come to you. And when she does, you arrange a date, a, a meetup face to face in person. And then when you're on your date, you just focus on having fun with her and gently leading things into the bedroom. This is really all men have to do in the dating process. And a lot of guys try to make it way too complicated, but this is really all you have to do. She will take care of keeping in touch for the most part, and she will take care of turning things into a relationship if she likes you and you're doing everything right. And when I say doing everything right, I mean, you're not turning her off. You're not being too cold. And if this is the case and she really likes you, like I said, she's going to take care of keeping in touch and she's going to take care of turning things into a relationship. As a man, you do not have to do any of that. Now, I just want to be clear that there is nothing wrong with you initiating contact with her. You know, maybe sharing a joke or sharing a meme or a song. You just want to do it sparingly. She needs time to wonder about you and, and miss you. And when her curiosity reaches a breaking point, she's not going to be able to take it anymore. And she's going to reach out to you so she can connect with you and get a little reassurance from you. So this is really how you manage and maintain things through texting. So if you guys have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I would also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, and I have a link to... Uh, recommended reading a bunch of books that if you want to further your education on women, relationships and game and attraction, I highly recommend these books. And I will also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.